I'm here in this field of winter barley and I'm looking to carry out a plant count here to figure out what is the establishment rate on this field and also look at the number of plants that came above the ground here. So if you look at this here, what I'm trying to figure out is how many plants are actually here. Um, and that gives me information going forward as to how I manage this crop agronomically. I'm looking for a target plant count here of about 280 to 300 plants per square meter. I'm also looking to figure out what is the establishment rate in this crop. And that gives me a figure going forward then when I'm looking to, to calculate my seed rate for this field, for this particular field, next year and the year after, I'll know how many seeds I need to put into this crop to typically get me to the plant count I need. And thirdly, the other th piece of information that it might give me is that it might show if, if there's an issue with the seed drill, whether the seed drill has been metering out enough seed to get me to my target plant count. So I have three simple pieces of apparatus that I can actually use to carry out the plant count. Firstly, I have this pre-made piece of equipment here that was supplied, that was given to me by one of the companies. It's 0.1 of a square meter internally here, and I simply throw that randomly across the field. I then count the number of plants within that 0.1 of a square meter, and I multiply that figure by 10, and that gives me my plant count per square meter. Otherwise, you can get something like this, which is a piece of hydrid air pipe. Um, and I've made, it's 158 centimetres of a circumference, and the internal area of this is 0.2 of a square metre. Again, I randomly throw that across the field in a number of different places, and I count the number of plants within that circle. I then multiply that by point, or by five to give me my total plant count per square metre. The other piece of apparatus that you can use is something like this, which is a, a metre length of stick. And you simply place that across the rows like that and you count the number of rows in that meter. You then turn the meter stick along the row like that and you count the number of plants along that meter length. And you multiply that figure then by the number of rows across here. And that gives me my same figure per square meter. It's also important to note that you should count the plants at this stage when they're just above the ground. It makes it much easier from the point of view that you're not dealing with tillers or extra leaves and it makes it much quicker, much more efficient to do it. So what might affect the germination rate in a field like this? There are probably three main reasons what, what might affect the germination rate. Firstly, the soil conditions. As we go through the season and we get later into the season, this germination rate in winter crops generally deteriorates, so your germination or your, or your establishment rate generally falls. Secondly, pest issues. You could have slugs or crows taking the seed, and again, that can affect the establishment rate. Or thirdly, it can be the germination of the seed, uh, and there might be issues with the actual germination rate of the seed, and that will affect the, the establishment rate that we have here in this crop. So when I've done the plant count, I now know what I need to do with this crop going forward. I'll also need know what um, seed rate I need to sow in this field next year and the year after, because I'll have the establishment rate.